before coming here today, I checked my history. And in the Hebrew Bible, uh, specifically in the book of Kings, Kings 1, chapter 10, verse 22, at the time of King Solomon, who is one of the ancient kings of Israel in antiquity, in biblical times, there is already a reference to the relationship between the people of Israel and the peoples of India, and the cultural relationship, the economic relationship, the trade. So the friendship and the cooperation between our two countries is not something new. It's something that dates back more than centuries, more than a millennia. It's important to know. Uh, uh, I also want to uh, uh, say something that needs to be said. The Jewish people, when we lost our independence in our homeland, we were scattered across the planet. Jews lived in Poland and in Holland and in Iraq and in Morocco and across the planet. In many places, Jewish people suffered. In many places, Jews faced discrimination. In many faces, places, Jewish people faced institutionalized discrimination. You've all heard the uh, stories of the pogroms and uh, the Nazi Holocaust and so forth. As far as I know, as far as I know, and I've studied this, in India, the Jewish community was never persecuted. That Indian civilization, unlike others, unlike Christian civilization in Europe, unlike some of the peoples in the Middle East, in India, there was never a phenomena known as anti-Semitism. <laughs> there is something about India which is special. Jews lived in India as a small minority for centuries, never persecuted, never persecuted. This is something you can be proud of. This is something that I am thankful for. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net.